The New Balance 550 model is the latest silhouette that has become a recent favorite among young sneaker enthusiasts and mature shoe aficionados alike. It's premium suede. Mesh and leather upper materials coupled with a well-cushioned insole makes it a trendy and comfortable daily beater. Although, its origins stemmed from the 1980s basketball courts. It later re-emerged as a trendy lifestyle silhouette. The original 550 debuted in 1989 designed by legendary sneaker architect and the godfather of dad shoes, Stephen Smith, and made its mark on basketball courts from coast to coast. After its initial run, the 550 was filed away in the archives before being reintroduced in limited edition releases in late 2020. Rooted in basketball-ready design, the silhouette was reintroduced in 2020 by the Teddy Santis Ledham Leon Dor ALD collection and returned to the full-time lineup in 2021, quickly becoming a global fashion favorite. So, why is New Balance 550 so expensive aftermarket? Although, the New Balance 550 is retailed at $110 to $130. It becomes expensive on the aftermarket due to popularity and the resulting rarity. High demand combined with staggered releases make these classic shoe designs fly off the virtual shelves which drives up the price. After wearing them for a week, these pair had grown on me. It's surprisingly comfortable and light. These lifestyle sneakers feels premium and true to size. However, for men with wider feet, you may need to size up. Their unisex design makes them popular with women as well. So try them on before you're by. They feel a bit big for women, especially with narrow feet. Overall, I think they are one of the best designs New Balance have ever produced.